You can see them all on Halloween night. Ghosts, goblins, vampires, and a whole lot more. But the one real-life character that frightens just about everyone? A scary mom. <laughs> Don't mess with them. <laughs> Tonight, Galen Culper has the story of one who figured out how to turn her scary talents to profit. Walking through the door at home, Heather Seals has 10 kids. Seven boys, three girls. She owns a daycare center and more. Well, you know, I just love the kids. But moonlighting at Halloween means walking through a very different portal, the 13th door. And I don't like for children to be upset or people to be scared. And then I come here in the evenings and that's what we do here. Suddenly it's your job. Exactly. Okay. The Seals family used to set up a haunt in their front yard, but a few years back they decided to expand. And we had an opportunity to bring what we did in our yard into a building. Maxwell's Pumpkins, or so the story goes, was once a thriving agritourism business until a party one night got out of hand. He's very upset, so he's trying to find his next pumpkins out of humans. It's a different world in here in the dark, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> and so, even with the lights on, Heather takes us through the waking nightmare of murder weapon tool sheds, slaughterhouses, asylum waiting rooms, clown carnivals, and a soul-stealing pumpkin patch. The silo is very active. A lot of this haunt came from a company in Florida, but Heather and her family love searching for ways to make their haunt local. This street sign came from the 2013 tornado and more. The silo strayed from Tiger King Safari, minus the tigers. We've kept it in Oklahoma. Truth be told, <laughs> Heather's actually the kind of mom who likes hugging way better than hiding and scaring. But come nightfall, when the lights go out and all 35 actors she hires lurk around every corner. The actors think it's funny to scare me. That little bit of scary mom in her, complete with demon pumpkin on her shoulder, kind of enjoys the ride. As long as everybody knows it's just pretend. It's just make-believe. In Oklahoma City, Galen Culver News 4. Is this a great state or what? That Heather likes scary things more than this Heather does. Mm. The 13th door is located just off I-240 and Penn on Oklahoma City's south side. We have a link to their website in case you want to go there after dark. They'll be open all weekend and next week as well.